Hello, everybody. Today's lesson, we're going to start talking about Taoism, and so we're going to talk about what is Taoism. So, have you ever heard the expression, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step? It is believed that a Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu, wrote that saying. No one knows if Lao Tzu was a real person, but maybe he would have been a good travel agent. Lao Tzu is believed to be the founder of Taoism, one of the world's major religions. According to legends, Lao Tzu lived in China in the 6th century BC. Some say that when he was born, he was already a wise old man with white hair. He was the keeper of the archives at the imperial court. Confucius, another ancient philosopher, another famous philosopher, is said to have visited him. When Lao Tzu was 160 years old, he felt sad that his government had been corrupt. He felt that people were not on the right path, so he set out for what is now Tibet. A guard had a dream that a sage would come to the western border of China. When Lao Tzu rode up on his water buffalo, this guard recognized him as a sage from his dream. The guard stopped the old man and told him he could not go on unless he wrote down his teachings. Lao Tzu quickly wrote down 5,000 Chinese characters. His writings were called the Tao Te Ching, the Tao Te Ching. This phrase means the way and its power. Lao Tzu gave his writings to the guard, remounted his water buffalo, and rode away. He was never heard from again. The Tao, sorry, the Tao Te Ching was the central sacred book of Taoism. Taoists try to live in harmony with nature. They respect natural forces like wind and water. Water is the perfect symbol of Taoism because it is soft and flowing, but it also is powerful and sustains life. Tao means way or path. Taoism is also called the water course way. In one Taoist story, an old man and his friends walked next to a raging river. The man fell into the water. He was swept through the fast rapids, and then he fell over a large waterfall. His friends were afraid that the old man was dead. When they saw him pull himself out of the river, they ran up to him and asked him how he had managed to survive. The man did not know. He said, I didn't try to fight the water. I allowed myself to be carried by it, and I was not hurt. The man in the story flowed with the water. He did not fight against it, which is an important Taoist idea. Taoists believe in flowing with events. Taoists believe that there are forces that control nature and that people should fall, flow with these forces too. Harmony in nature is represented by the yin-yang symbol. These two opposing forces work together in balance. Yin is dark, female, passive, and soft. Yang is light, male, active, and hard. You have probably seen the yin-yang symbol within a circle. One side is light, the other is dark. The halves are separated by a curving line. Another important Taoist principle is called Wu Wei, which means action through inaction. This means to do things without stress and strain. Some Taoists use the idea of flowing in salt water to illustrate this goal. If we relax, we can float without effort. If we struggle and kick, we may sink instead. A third Taoist concept that has become well known is the, in the West is called Feng Shui. Feng Shui has been used in China for centuries. It is the practice of arranging your environment so it is in harmony with the flow of energy around it. People use these ideas to build their homes and even arrange their furniture. For example, according to Feng Shui, a cluttered room makes you feel chaotic. Your mother may seem like a secret Feng Shui agent if she exclaims, how can you think in this messy room? Today, there are two groups of Taoists. One group follow what is called philosophical Taoism. They like to meditate. Their approach is more mystical. They like to be still and to think about the Tao. A second group follows what is called popular Taoism. They believe in many gods, goddesses, and spiritual beings. They also believe in demons. These Taoists use magic and rituals to harness virtue or power. Their goal is to become immortal or to live forever. Taoists believe in special beings called the Eight Immortals. These are people who have used Taoism to reach the heaven world. It is believed that they lived on earth at different times. Each of these beings represents some condition of people's lives, such as poverty, wealth, aristocracy, age, or youth. Statues of the eight immortals show each of them holding a symbol of something that they sponsor. 
One immortal holds a fan to revive the souls of the dead. Another, the patron of musicians, holds a flute. Another feisty immortal holds a magic sword to kill dragons and fight evil. Fighting evil ghosts and spirits is a part of Taoism. In ancient times, fighters preferred the sword to all other weapons. The sword of a famous Taoist philosopher named Chang Su was refer was re sorry was revered for nearly 2,000 years. He lived in the second century BC, and it is believed that he used the sword to catch ghosts. One of the intriguing festivals of Taoism is the Hungry Ghost Festival, which takes place in August or September. Taoists believe that the underworld is open during this time and that unhappy ghosts can wander out into the world. The purpose of the festival is to give these unhappy creatures offerings of money, fruit, paper houses, and clothes. Other Taoist festivals also honor departed ancestors. In China, respect for one's ancestors is very important. The festival of Qingming is when families get together to honor the dead and to tell stories about the eight immortals. Some Westerners have a hard time understanding Taoism, but some ideas from this ancient Chinese religion are popular today. For example, the next time someone tells you to go with the flow, you can tell them all about Lao Tzu. And so just like the previous, um, you know, topics that we've covered, there are eight questions here at the end to answer. The first one asks, according to legends, what was Lao Tzu's job? He was a calligrapher. He was an imperial guard. He kept the imperial archives or he raised water buffalo. And I want you to tell me what paragraph you found it in and then what the evidence in that paragraph is. Number two, what is the name of the most important Taoist scripture? The Bible, the Tao Te Ching, the Quran, or the Declaration of Independence? You may pause between questions if you'd like. Which of the following is an example of Wu Wei? Taking a bath, body surfing, floating in salt water, or sunbathing? Number four, which are the two kinds of Taoism? Number five, how many heavenly beings are called the immortals? Two, five, eight, or one? Number six, what was the preferred weapon during Lao Tzu's lifetime? Guns, cannons, swords, or bombs? Number seven, which of the following best describes the message of the old man who fell into the river? Go with the flow. Take swimming lessons. You never know when you might need them. Hold your breath and things will work out. Or don't walk too close to the edge of a river. And number eight asks, which element best represents the concepts of Taoism? Fire, air, earth, or water? So you should have all of the questions answered and then you will submit this today as your assignment.